Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in my paper decluttering video, which I will link above if you haven't seen it, I talked about my home binder. And you guys seemed super interested in learning more about it and figuring out how to set one up for yourself. So I wanted to make a dedicated video all about my home binder, this beautiful creature, and give you tips and tricks on setting up your own. So I've actually made a checklist that you can download. There will be a link in the description for you to go get this list to help you set up your own binder. And we'll kind of go through some of these items in today's video. So basically the premise of a home binder is that if something were to happen to you and the Avengers blip just like completely erased you from the earth, this is a tool for the loved ones in your life to be able to understand all of your finances, all of your bills, if you have a will, that sort of thing. It's all in one place so that it makes their lives so much easier to make sure that all of your affairs are in order and that they can take care of the things that were important to you or need to be taken care of legally. You'll want to tell a couple of people in your life where this binder is located and make sure it's in a fire and waterproof safe location. That way, if there is an accident or something and you haven't blipped off Avenger style, you also have all of your information. So in order to set up your own binder, you're obviously gonna need a binder, then some divider pages as well as a binder punch. And this took me about a month or two to really set up because you're gonna wanna start saving one of all of your bills and kind of collecting this information in one place. More often than not, you have a filing cabinet or a stack somewhere that has a lot of the stuff you already need to put into it. So just go through those piles and pull out the stuff that's on the checklist. So the things I've included in my binder are our birth certificates, our marriage license, our social security cards, a will and like last testament, our mortgage payments, and basically one of every bill we pay for personally as well as for the business. Our checking accounts, our banking accounts, all of that stuff is in here because it makes people's lives so much easier when they know, okay, they have to pay this water bill, so now I need to call that water bill company and whatever. It just makes life so much easier. This binder is everything. This is like my most prized possession. When my dad passed away last year, my mom had to figure out a lot of things that would have been so much easier if they were in this binder. So I actually talked to my mom and asked her what would have made her life easier during those first few months, what information she wished she knew, and those are also included on this checklist. So you also might want to include your passports in here, titles or deeds, if you have any funeral arrangements figured out or wishes that you want, they could go in here. If you wanna write letters to loved ones or your children that they read after you've blipped Avengers style, that's my nicest way of saying died. It's just like Avengers blip. That's, that's what I'm gonna say for the video. Um, you can write letters to them, any information about your pets or medical records that are important to know, information about your kids, important phone numbers, contacts at your work that would need to be notified if something were to happen to you. I also like to include one year of tax returns in here. I know they say that you should save like seven years or something, but just having one close by and easy to access, I find is enough. Usually I'm only referencing last year more often than not. I also recommend putting your desktop login as well as your phone password. Like I said, this is gonna be somewhere safe that only a couple people know about, but if you were to blip, how would they get into your computer to find information or how would they use your phone to get information? So putting those important things in here would just make their life so much easier, trust me. Although the checklist covers a lot of things, I think it's really important that you talk to your family and talk to your significant other about what's really important that you want to have in your like home base. What kinds of things do you think would be valuable if something were to happen? And that's what you put in here. So I have like insurance information for our business. If you don't have a business, obviously that doesn't need to go into your binder. And we have our like rental agreement for our retail store. You really have to just figure out what is important to you and your family and put that in here. So we have a list of our favorite mementos and things that we have in our house. So just in case someone has to go through our belongings, they know the history behind some of our favorite pieces. And it's just a really 
nice way to kind of document your paper trail of life. Like, everything the government knows about you, all your ties are in one place. So like I said at the beginning of the video, there is a checklist that you can download and go through as you're setting up your binder. And if you have any suggestions of what should be in one of these home binders, put them in the comments so that other people can look down there and get ideas of what to include in theirs. But I highly recommend before I say goodbye to you, don't make it too big. It doesn't need to have three or four months of your energy bill, just one month will do and update it quarterly. So every three or four months, update it with the newest version of that bill so that all the information stays up to date. But it should not be big. This is a one inch binder and I feel completely content that this has everything my family needs. So keep it to a minimum and keep it really concise and on point because if someone is looking through this, they're probably in grief or upset and they don't need to be, be looking through like six different water bills. They just need the basic information, concise and clean, so that they can handle this difficult time. Because if you're looking at this binder and you didn't make this binder, things did not go well. The Avengers did not beat Thanos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to see more organization, board games, crafts, and planning videos on this channel two times a week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.